Hi, the next topic I'm going to talk about is capitalization. And you may think you know about capitalization, but do you? Maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> One thing I want to emphasize is that we don't capitalize things willy-nilly. And that's an expression that means that we don't capitalize things randomly here and there. Um, the only time when you can get away with that is if you are writing poetry for art's sake and not probably not for school and if it's a certain kind of modern poetry maybe or if you're doing texting to your friends or posting on Facebook or something like that uh, on your personal page okay um, but otherwise you should follow the rules of capitalization. Um, a lot of them are the same in Spanish and English, but not all of them. Uh, the pronoun I should be capitalized. That's one thing that's not the same. You don't capitalize the pronoun yo. Um, but it's always capitalized. It's not humble to put a lowercase i. It's just incorrect. Okay. Um, if you're like when I'm texting, many times I don't take the time to capitalize the pronoun I when I'm just texting someone. But if I'm writing something, even if it's one of these instructions for you that I consider somewhat informal, I still will not lowercase the letter I if it's a pronoun. Um, capitalize names, people's names, every part of the name, okay? A title that goes before the name, a title that goes after the name. Um, Pamela Flores de Soto. I'm pronouncing it in English. Um, so in that case, we don't capitalize the de, but the rest of it is capitalized, including the title M. Ed, which means Master of Education. It comes after her name, and that's somebody that I really know. Um, Mr. Johann von Weber. Same kind of thing with the von in, in German. We don't capitalize the von, but we do capitalize Mr., Miss, Mrs., Doctor, um, any of those. Even professor, if it's used as part of somebody's name. Um, E.B. White is the name of a children's author. Uh, E.B. White is the author of Charlotte's Web. Um, and so initials like that are capitalized. Mm. The only person who... That, well, there, there are two people that I can think of who uh, go with their names not capitalized to famous people, E.E. E. Cummings, the poet, um, because he uses that kind of poetry where he uses capitalization and non-capitalization as a style matter, he has he decided that he would not have his name capitalized, and so out of respect, um, teachers and everybody else will follow the rule to not capitalize his name. And there is a singer named K.D. Lang, whose name is not capitalized. Uh, that's the only, mm, those are the only two people I can think of. Uh, capitalize geographical names. So countries like the Dominican Republic, and notice, notice the word the is not capitalized, but it is necessary. So we don't say we're going to Dominican Republic. We say we're going to the Dominican Republic. The same thing with the United States, the Congo, okay? Cities, Valle de, An Valle de Angeles. Um, so again, with the de is not capitalized, just like in Spanish, I believe you, you do it exactly this way, except in Spanish you put an accent over the A. Um, let's see, islands, well, I almost couldn't read my own writing there. Islands, such as Rotan, you would capitalize that. States and departments, Texas, Atlantida, the regions, uh, the South is famously a region of the United States. Um, the Middle East is a region of the world. Um, mountains, like the Alps, again with the word the, not capitalized, but necessary. Um, and Mount Everest, so capitalize the word that indicates what kind of geographical feature it is um, and the name of it. So again, with the bodies of water, the lake uh, indicates what kind of body, uh, what kind of geographical feature it is, and the name of it is Johoa. If you're going, and you also need to know that the name 
of it comes after the type except with ocean and sea for some reason. Lake Yohoa, the Indian Ocean. Um, capitalized names of other places such as the Golden Gate Bridge in California, the Copan Ruins, um, and so again with here, like with the ocean, we put the name first, um, but most of them we put, yeah, the kind it is, Mount Everest, Lake Yohoa. <laughs> yeah, you just have to learn that, I guess. <laughs> um, capitalized names of businesses, organizations, teams, products, and government agencies, so basically uh, trademarks. Um, so... Examples I have here for business, Mercadito Tanya, for organizations, Black Lives Matter, Inc. And so if you have Inc. attached to the name, then you need to capitalize the I in Inc. as well. Um, the Warriors, that's the name of our team, in case you didn't remember. <laughs> ah, um, Jello is um, the dessert. <laughs> And that, that's the source of a lot of confusion. Are you talking about the color? Are you talking about ice? Are you talking about gelatin? What are you talking about? But if it's the if it's the brand name, it has it's capitalized. Immigration is a government agency or department, uh, especially. Uh, where am I? Capitalized historical events like the Revolutionary War is one. Um, periods like the Dark Ages. Um, See, special events like the World Cup um, and calendar items, Holy Week, um, any kind of holiday, Christmas, uh, months like July, days of the week, Tuesday, um, capitalized nationalities. So any kind of nationality, Honduran, um, English, Chinese, okay, Races and tribes. So Caucasian is the name of a race. That's my race, and um, it's not the name of a nationality. Caucasian literally means people that come from the Caucasus Mountains, which is Western Russia and Northern Europe in that area. Um, Lincoln is a tri tribe, so uh, he's a Lincoln man. He was a Mayan man, that kind of thing. Uh, capitalized names of religions, Buddhism, Catholicism, um, Islam, okay, um, and their adherents, Buddhists, Christians, Muslims, sacred celebrations, Ramadan for Islam, um, again, Holy Week, um, writings, the Bible, okay, and in the Bible, all of the books would be capitalized, like the Psalms, um, Proverbs, the Gospel of John, Revelation, all of the parts there. Capitalized names of vehicles, Air Force One, and I should have underlined these because they should be italicized. Oh my goodness, I didn't. Air Force One is the name of the pre president's airplane, the United States president's airplane. Uh, the Santa Maria is the name of Christopher Columbus's ship. Uh, heavenly bodies, um, like planets, like Venus and Earth, galaxies, the Milky Way, some stars even have names, or black holes might have names, and they, those would be capitalized as well. Um, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, when you are talking about topics in school, or, I mean, sorry, subject areas in school, like science, science should not be capitalized, and really grammar should not be capitalized. The reason I capitalize it um, at Licky Donbar School is to distinguish it from um, other things. There, I have a reason, <laughs> but um, but the word really it shouldn't be capitalized. We're going to grammar class. Don't need to put a capital G. I would never correct that. Um, but if it's a language like Spanish or English or Mandarin Chinese or whatever, um, then it would be capitalized. Um, there may be some other things, some other topics that would be capitalized. I can't remember, but it's in your book actually. So we'll, we'll be going over all of these things in your book 
the next time we have a meeting, which should be coming right up. Happy work. <laughs>